Hi, I'm Miss Devine, and I want to talk to you about how to run our dish machine. Uh, whenever you're a dishwasher, you still need to wash your hands. So go ahead and wash your hands for 20 seconds. You might think, why do I have to wash my hands if I'm just doing dishes? And that's because uh, you're going to be touching our equipment. I mean, you want to make sure you don't have any germs. If you've gone to the restroom or eaten recently, uh, you may have germs on your hands. So go ahead and wash your hands, even when you're doing any of the dishwashing jobs. Let me just dry them quickly. Alright, now I'm ready to start. My hair is tied up. Um, in the case of the fee students, we have a uniform on. This is my workstation and I want to make sure it's set up properly. This is where we're going to soak uh, silverware. So when people bring dirty silverware to me, I want to soak it for a few minutes until the end of the period and then I'm going to put it through the machine all together. So I'm going to fill this with hot soap and water. The hand soap is fine, just a couple of, just a couple of pumps of hand soap is fine. Alright, once that's filled with soapy water, bring that right over here. And when students bring you dirty dishes, Make sure they should they should take their silverware and put it straight into the box. And you sometimes have to remind them. So if they bring stuff and just leave it here, say please put your silverware in this box. You put it here, and it's going to have a chance to soak, and that way the food won't stick to it. Now, if I'm ready, the other thing I would probably do to organize myself is I have some glasses here. I'm just going to get them out of my way. This rack is up here for glasses, and once I get them out of my way, they're less likely to break them. Okay. Now I'm ready to load up a rack of uh, uh, plates and bowls. Plates can go in here like this, and they can be cleaned off, rinsed off right in place. Bowls, if they don't have much in them, if all they have is some salt in them or something, put them straight in. If they have some food stuck to them, rinse them out quickly and put them in. All right, normally I'd wait for a full rack of dishes, but I'm going to show you how to use the machine. So, uh, the dishes go right in here, pull down, gently just pull down the handle, press start, hold it until start begins. We're going to wait now, it's a 60 second cycle, we're going to wait until this light goes off. At this point though, as dishwasher, I don't need to be waiting, I can go over here and load up my next rack. Notice I used a rack with pegs for the bowls and plates. Now I want a flat rack to load up my silverware. At the end of my period, whenever the silverware box gets full, I can take the whole box, pour it into the rack, rinse off my silverware to get any excess food off it, and then so that you can wash this box, if you're really busy, put the box right back for other students to start putting silverware in. Otherwise, put it on top, it'll hold the silverware in place in the machine, as well as um, wash the box. Okay. All right. I'm going to put one. I'm going to put this aside for just a minute, and I'm going to put the glasses through. Whenever this is full, it's not full now, but as an example, whenever this is full, this should go through the machine. You just pull it down like this. The light's off, so I know my last load is finished. Just gently pull up, and I'm just going to push the dishes through. Occasionally, some lightweight dishes fall out, like these bowls. So I just need to lift those up, turn them over so that the water comes out of them and push them through. These just got sanitized with heat at 180 degrees. Okay, So they're really hot. And if I just leave them to sit for about five minutes, they're going to pretty much be dry. Okay, I'm going to do one more load of, of bowls. Of, uh, of glasses because I want to show you how to put these away. Okay, so I want to make space for the next rack. So any racks that are here, I'm just going to put out of the way. Empty racks will return to this area. In most of my classes, we have a separate person putting away to cleaning. So cleaning person, just move the rack over here so they're out of your way, and another student will take care of these. So they're just about dry. So at this point, all I need to do is stack them and return them to their place. These get right over here and put away. Okay. So uh, if if an
an item really needs a little bit of toweling off, you can towel it off, but otherwise let them air dry. Okay. Glasses are just about finished. When the light goes off, you know they're finished. And when you're really busy, the machine should be working constantly. When the machine's working, you should be reloading dishes. Don't stand here and watch the machine work. Let the machine work while you work. Okay, here's our glasses. A couple of the lightweight glasses ended up turning themselves around. So we're going to take that water out. Once again, in about five minutes, these glasses will be dry. So I'm going to give them just a minute while I clean up my area. Okay, now let's say my shift is finished. The bell's about to ring. So I'm going to straighten up my workspace. I'm going to rinse this off. Right down below, I have a squeegee. That gets squeegeed down. Sometimes uh, chocolate milk and coffee you'll find up here from uh, glasses turned upside down. And there's a hole right on this end that the liquid comes out. So we'll squeegee this off. I want to make sure my food's out of here. Push down into the center. And um, if that gets really full, I can run the disposal. This is forward and reverse. Put it on forward, press start. Off, then turn this to off. If you don't feel comfortable running that, just ask for Ms. Devine's help. The other thing you should clean out are what we call, inside here, we have baskets. And these get filled with food, and they can be turned upside down and rinsed off. This should happen at the end of your shift. Here's another one on the other side. Inside, underneath the baskets, that's that's a tub of water, and that water gets used gets used again and again to wash the dishes. If that water gets very very dirty, what we do is we turn the machine off. And we'll see the water drain out the bottom. All that dirty water will drain. We we'll wait till it's completely drained. Then we need to close the machine, turn it back on, and it'll refill. You'll hear it filling, and then as soon as it stops filling, it'll be ready to use again. All right, I've let my glasses sit for a few minutes. I don't need to remove these from the rack. I'm going to take, you want to touch them as little as possible, because our fingerprints can get on the glasses. I have two places to drop these off. Follow me. I'm going to take the rack. If a full rack is too heavy for you, just ask for some help. And then I'm just going to take these and offload them right here. This is kind of a full rack, but this plastic stuff is here to let air underneath the glass so it can finish drying right here. Okay? It's so like I'm going to take the rest of these over to the water area because we're full over here. I bring these right over to where we keep our water glasses and unload them. So all I'm touching is the very bottom of the glass with my fingers. You don't want to touch where people's mouths are going to touch. Okay? And I will be here to answer any more questions. Thank you.